Okay, I need to talk about the elephant in the room. Online courses. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm a gender affirming voice teacher. I help trans people create voices that bring them safety and comfort. And the primary way that I do this is through a suite of online courses. I wanted to talk about online courses more broadly today because online courses have one of the wildest and most inconsistent reputations. <laughs> On one end of the spectrum, you have universities offering accreditation for taking their online classes. And on the other end, you have life coach grifters trying to sell you a course about changing your eye color through the power of positive thinking or whatever. Can you manifest a different eye color? There's no limit to what you can manifest. Oh! And somewhere in there, you have me. <laughs> My online courses are hosted through a platform called Kajabi, and they also host my website, my mail server, and a bunch of other little things. I really like this company. They're not perfect, but they work really hard to make a great user experience, not only for course creators like me, but also for course takers like my students. And actually, I chose this platform because it had my favorite student experience out of all the platforms that I saw. I'm pretty close with this company after three years on the platform and something that me and other course creators on the platform have always been asking for is more oversight to restrict grifters from creating courses on Kajabi. But unfortunately, grifters are everywhere <laughs> and scammers selling online courses hurt all of us who are actually trying to provide a service and make the world a better place. So why am I bringing all this up right now? I wanted to talk about this because it occurred to me the other day that I kind of hedge when it comes to talking about my courses. I don't like bringing it up because I feel like it makes me look salesy. And I also worry that I'm gonna be associated with like the Mogwarts Academy dudes, you know? I promise you, the answer is pretty obvious. Oh my God! Like straight predation. And that's obviously not what I'm doing, you know? Because the truth is, I actually did my first vocal workshop in 2008 for the National Arts Center in Ottawa, and I've been hooked ever since. I chose online courses as my primary vehicle for my teaching because I saw that I could provide a lower cost alternative to private lessons that could reach way more people than my private teaching ever could. And that's basically it. That's the only reason I do online courses now. But now in the years since I started, I've become like really good at imparting information this way. I'm always learning and improving. And as I do, so do my courses. I'm updating them all the time and I'm always striving to make a better experience for my students. So those are all the feelings that I needed to get off my chest, uh, but I'm dying to know, like what do you think of when you think of online courses? Please let me know in the comments and I hope this helps.